Hi, I'm Michael Lai with Asian Feed. It's great to be with both of you today. Hi. Hi. And just starting off, this is the final season. So how did each of you prepare to say goodbye to your characters? With a lot of fear and anxiety <laughs> and um, sadness. A lot of fear, a lot of anxiety, a lot of just, you know, not being ready to let go of the characters, but anticipating like not knowing what to anticipate right not knowing where the characters will end up yeah so a lot of emotions amazing and on a similar note what do each of you think you'll miss most about the show i'm gonna miss how getting to work with such talented people it's hard to come by and we all get along really well so I'm, I'm going to miss like having the opportunity and gift to see all these very talented, amazing people around me. Yeah, likewise. I'm going to miss all of the, the people around, and I'm going to miss, you know, just seeing everybody. I'm going to miss seeing Ramona's face. I'm, I'm going to miss going to Ramona's trailer and, you know, just barging in and hanging out and hanging out with everybody and, you know, all the, all the good times that we mm. had. I'm going to miss sneaking into the back lot. Oh, yeah. yeah. We did that a couple times. Gosh. Amazing. And Ramona, we saw Eleanor reconnect with her mom this season. What was it like filming that scene, and how do you think that impacted Eleanor? It was so, it was so great. It was really interesting. I mean, Eleanor's perspective of her mom completely changed by season four. I feel like in season one, she really idolized her mom. And then by the end of season four, she's just like, she realizes that her mom's a flawed human being and that she's in a lot of ways have outgrown her own mother. So it was a really interesting transition to go through. Absolutely, and Lee, we definitely saw Fabiola also go through quite a journey this season. How would you say she's grown since last season? Since last season? Um, I mean, she's, last season she, you know, went through a couple of relationships and I feel like now she's in a little bit more of a grounded place. She's definitely in her element as far as robotics. And um, she has a lot of options for college. Um, and so I think just her navigating all the drama and the friend group, um, I think her journey this season, there was a lot of, you know, it was a roller coaster. It wasn't, I, I wasn't sure where she'd end up, but I, I'm, I'm happy with it. Mm -hmm. Amazing. And as we look back on the first season of the show, I think it's amazing just to see how many people the show has touched around the world. What about the show do each of you think made it so special? I think it's, it's a lot of things. I mean, I don't think it's one thing that we can necessarily pinpoint, but some of the things is the representation, the diversity, the great writing, the chemistry between the cast the love we all put into it. I think it's just like a big bundle of a bunch of there's, things. Yeah, there's a, it's a bunch of things. Yeah. Amazing, and as a final question, if each of you had to describe this final season in three words, what would they be? Climactic. <laughs> Is that how you say it, like climactic? Yeah. Yes. Climactic. That was gonna be my word. Well, it's fine. <laughs> um, I'll say, I'll say juicy, but... Whoa. <laughs> okay. Um, I'm going to say, um, maybe at the same time, sex. sex. <laughs> sexy. It was, it was sexy. Very sexy. So sexy. Amazing. Thank you both so much for your time. It was an absolute pleasure, and I hope you have an amazing rest of your day. Thank you, Thank too. Thank you.